I always say the name wrong too. I mean, always. Good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino and we're drinking a beer from Grain and Grit. While we were at Grain and Grit, I kept calling it Grain and Grist. Because that's what I want to say. I want to say Grain and Grist, not Grain and Grit. But it's Grain and Grit. This is part of their small batch... This is a small batch beer, sorry. I thought this said small batch series and I was going to say, well, it's not a very big brewery. So they all have to kind of be the small batch series. We were there. It's not a big place. Beautiful. Not big. Ah, oh, Light Ray Session IPA, which is 4.5% alcohol. 80 IBU. I think that might be one of the highest IBU beers I've had at such a low ABV. Have anything else on here? Uh, nothing really. Just saying it's in Hamilton. Grainandgritbeer.com. Okay. Okay, that's kind of hazy crazy. Wow, I did not expect that. Look at that head. Beautiful bright white head. There's a snap crackle pop to it. You guys hear it? Look, it has some viscosity. Sticks. Shall we give it a smell? Woo! That is hoppy! Very resiny. It's 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 very reminiscent of like for you home brewers when you get yourself a, a new package, your new like one ounce package of hop pellets, and you open it up that first time, and you get just assailed with that resiny, oily scent. That's what I'm getting, and it actually smells like your average hop pellets too. It's like a little floral, a little little ju juicy, a little floral juicy, uh, some some like pininess in there. Out of the can. Oh, out of the can, it's, it's, it reminds me so much of my grandmother's washroom. <laughs> you know, the little soaps, the little flower soaps. Cheers, let's try it. I'm a little worried now. Very light bodied. Very light bodied, very light carbonation. Uh, I didn't expect such a light body with the, with the hue of this nor with the IBU of it. Um, and it does have that, that resiny bitterness on the back end, but at 80 IBUs, I still wouldn't think it was 80 IBUs. It, it doesn't feel much worse than a 30 or 40 IBU beer. It doesn't take over the whole back of the palate, it's just, just the t back of the tongue, exactly at the back of the tongue. And it's resiny and earthy, with a little bit of floral notes to it. I don't mind this. If you're a hop head, it can work for you. If you're not a hop head, it could work for you. If you like your session IPAs, it could work for you. It's really like it's really like hop tea. There's not much to it. I don't mind this. I'd give it a 6, 7, 5 out of 10. I wouldn't buy it again, but I have absolutely no problem uh, drinking it. Uh, so that was Light Ray from Grain and Grit, which I think is the lowest rating I've given any of their beers, because I have quite enjoyed everyone I've had so far. Uh, cheers, Light Ray. Bye.